Hi everyone, welcome to the VMD tutorials for beginners. Today I'll try to answer a question I got from many of you from the YouTube channel, which is how can we rotate a protein around a specific X and save the rotated structure in this way as a new PDB file. And the confusion that many of you as a beginners get is you just rotate the protein around the around any X by mouse and you think that now you are saving the new structure and it doesn't work like this by in VMD so if we open a protein we have here as a sample for this tutorial what I'm saying is just they rotate like this and then they try to save a new coordinates from here or whatever by TK console they write a new PDB and then you see that you are not rotating anything the, 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 the reason for this is, is just by mouse you just rotating the view that you are seeing but to to rotate this you need to make some a little bit short scripting in VMD so let's do it together I wrote a very short script I will explain to you and then we will source it so before I go to the script let's improve this representation so that we can follow the rotation because if it is in the same color we cannot see really it is rotating or not okay so I will highlight some part of the protein in a different color so we can we can see or follow up the, the, the protein. So I will highlight some part, say in blue, I will say protein and res ID 169 And let's make it blue. Choose chain. Okay. So again, the problem is you want to, your structure is like this and you want to embed it in, in a membrane or in whatever system you're trying to build and you want to save it like this. I don't know your, 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 your purpose from this rotation, but since I got many questions, I think many many of people need it. Okay, so you want to keep it like this and keep the PDB file in this coordinates every time. So you need to write a new PDB. A new PDB. So let's go to the script. I don't want to source it automatically and then you just I say the job is done. No, I want to comment and explain the script line by line. So you just you are learning the language of scripting in VMD as well. So the first thing we do is we just selecting our selection in my case i want to rotate everything in your case could be protein so you say set cell atom select top all but be careful in this case if your protein contains some ions or metal ions you have to choose say protein and ions because in my case sometimes i forgot to choose the ion and you rotate only the structure okay so we made our selection and then we calculate the center of mass of our protein and the reason for this is the rotation will happen around the center of mass of our protein, not around what you are seeing now, because you are seeing just the origin, okay? So you have to calculate the center of mass to rotate around it, okay? So to do this in VMD, it's fairly simple. You just say measure center of my selection, which was all weight mass. This will calculate the center of mass of our selection and then we'll assign it to a variable called com com center of mass and then we calculate a transformation matrix for rotating the protein around say xx minus 90 degrees and assign this matrix into a variable called matrix for example you can you can call it anything and this even could be y could be z and this could be 45 or could be 90 or whatever so let's keep it x for example so now we made the selection and we calculated the center of mass and we had the transformation matrix around the xx by 90 degrees and then i will move my protein into the origin so that i will rotate around x y and z and for this you use vec scale minus one to my center of mass and this means I will move my protein into the negative scalar of my center of mass vector because the center of mass is a vector. It is a 3 by 3 vector. Say it's 1, 2, 3. So the negative scalar will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. So when you move to the negative scalar of your center of mass, so the summation will be 0. So you are moving to the origin. Okay? I advise you to go to the documentation of VMD into the vector scale or vector inverter, whatever. Okay, so now we are moved to we, we moved our protein to the, the region, and then we will move it by matrix. 
which is the transformation around x by 90 degrees so now we will rotate it around the x x by 90 degrees and then we will get back into our original position by moving the protein by the, the center of mass to the, the center of mass that we had at the beginning okay and you may notice that when I move the protein by matrix I use the move command but when I you move the protein by a vector I use the move by and this is the language of VMD and then you will write a PDB I will say for my selection write PDB rotated dot PDB and I will command this out because I don't want to write a PDB until we I show you some stuff okay so quickly again we had a selection we measured the center of mass we calculated the transformation matrix and assigned it to a matrix variable and then we moved our protein to the region and moved rotated around the x-axis and then get back to the original coordinates that we have okay so let's sort the script and see what will happen I'll say source rotate.tcl my script here you see it's rotating so if I source it again it will rotate again okay so let's make it like not xx let's make it z and make it minus 90 I'm just showing you that you can change whatever you want and then let's source it again you see and we can make it around y that's why I didn't want to write a PDV because I want to show you some different rotations I like this view it's that one that we have this highlighted part in front of us so that we can easily check if it's rotated or not and then we can say to cell right PDB rotated I'll call it rotated dot PDB and hit enter and I think it's gone now and then let's close it and check our rotated PDB it's here and see if it is really rotated or not okay and then we will get it into the new carton I think from here it's very clear okay and then I'll say routine what I would choose and res ID it was one six nine two two three nine and we'll make it in blue I'll make it chain you see you get it in front of you okay so that's for today and see you in the next video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments write in the comment or any question if you need the script just write your email and I will send it to you see you